Yo, what is up, y'all? This is Travis, aka The Raw View, and welcome to Setup Evolution Episode 3, where we look at your setups and how they evolve over time. Let's kick things off, and we are going to start with Dennis's setup. So Dennis's setup back in 2010 was just a Toshiba laptop with some Logitech speakers and a Logitech mouse, it looks like. And over the course of six years, he was able to change that into this. So he went from having a laptop with a i5 processor to a killer boss computer rocking a 5820K overclocked to four gigahertz, a Titan X from EVGA, 32 gigs of RAM, a Asus X99 motherboard, a 256 gigabyte SSD, a four terabyte hard drive, a thousand watt power supply, and that's all contained in a Corsair Graphite 760T Arctic White Edition. I can't actually pronounce the brand of the headphones, but they look sick. I will leave a link down to them down in the description below. He's also rocking a Corsair K70 RGB keyboard, still rocking the same mouse from when he had the laptop six years ago, which is the Logitech G3000. His microphone is a Anon mic. I could be pronouncing that wrong. Again, I will leave a link down in the description to that because honestly, I have no clue how to pronounce it. He also has a Logitech C920, Microsoft LifeCam HD 5000, three BenQ monitors that are 27 inches, a DX Racer chair. Dennis, the only thing I'm going to recommend is that you hide your wires coming from your monitor. I think it would make your setup look really, really clean and give it a really killer appearance. Next, we have Tyler. As you can see in the very first picture, he has a custom built computer and in that computer, he has an i5 processor, eight gigs of RAM and a 660 Ti. He has a white desk that looks kind of semi okay. He has one monitor in this picture. I can see the two speakers. He also has a subwoofer in a very strange spot, no mouse pad, and there is a weird cable coming down the wall. But other than that, it's pretty clean actually when it comes to like the wires. I can see some wires underneath the desk, but overall it's pretty clean. You can see a lot has changed as a new desk, same computer, same monitor. One of them's the same monitor. It looks like he added an extra one has the same speakers, has a microphone, it looks like hanging above the monitor. That's kind of interesting. Headphones hung up on the side. Can't really tell what they are. Uh, Logitech steering wheel and a mess of cable management down below. Oh my gosh, there's no cable management, but the subwoofer's on the floor, so good, good for that. And then he goes from that to this. Now, this is a big jump from everything from the monitors also to the computer. Looks like he moved all his computer components into a new case. He upgraded the motherboard and the CPU. Uh, he looks like he upgraded to a i7-4770K, an H100i, and an Asus Maximus 6 Hero. He also upgraded his monitors in this to two 24-inch monitors. He also has a bamboo tablet on the desk so it looks like he upgraded his desk once again. He got rid of the thing on the right, making it look a lot less cluttery. He also got a Yeti microphone, it looks like, instead of the Snowball he had before. He has an LG ultra wide monitor there. He also upgraded a couple components inside the computer. He went from eight gigs of RAM to 16 gigs of RAM and added some more storage. Overall, pretty clean setup. I think you have the ability to actually hide your subwoofer cable a little bit better. You might have to buy a extension cable, but run it up into the desk, over to the left, and then down into the subwoofer. That way it will be a lot less noticeable. But I mean, other than that, your cable management's pretty much on point. Everything looks really good. I don't really have that many uh, things to say about it. Now, he does say in the future he wants to upgrade his speakers to KRKs, he wants to upgrade to a Scarlett audio interface, he wants to upgrade his mouse and keyboard and mouse pad and desk and microphone and possibly get a second ultra wide. So yeah, he wants to change everything once again. But overall, pretty sick evolution. Thank you, Tyler, for submitting. Next, we have Rashid. He actually, again, started out with a laptop. It was a Dell Inspiration 15R Special Edition with an i7 processor, 
a 7730M. It lasted about two years before finally giving out. Then in 2013, he decided to build his first custom computer and this was it. It was in a Cooler Master Scout 2 Advance. It was rocking an Intel i7-4770K clocked at 4.2 gigahertz, a gigabyte Windforce GTX 780, 16 gigs of RAM, a gigabyte motherboard, Corsair power supply, and Corsair H100i, and a 120 gigabyte SSD, along with two terabytes of hard drive space. And this was the setup for that computer. I wish there the computer was in the shop, but it's not. But as you can tell, it's a kind of interesting small setup. Doesn't look like he has a lot of room. But he basically went from that to this, where he got a bigger desk. He still has the same computer there and still has that same monitor. He upgraded his speakers though. And now it's finally starting to look like a setup. But then he wasn't done. He went from this to this. And as you can tell, he's rocking an ultra wide on the left and still rocking that same LG monitor on the right. He also has a new keyboard and it also looks like a new lamp if anyone cares. <laughs> Overall, this is a really great evolution. I love the fact that he still has one of the same monitors he had back in 2013 all the way in 2016. I think that's really, really cool. Also, he still has the same computer. The only thing he currently has planned for the future is to upgrade his GPU. Overall, this is a really clean setup. I am actually very impressed with the evolution. I think this is awesome. I love the fact that you continue to use the same monitor you had since 2013. I see the Xbox 360 there and I uh, also see your headphones in the cubby hole. I think that's awesome is to put them in like a little cubby hole. That's really, really great. The only thing that I have to say would be maybe improve your cable management with the wires coming to the monitor and the wires coming out of the back. I see some Velcro, but I think cable sleeves here would definitely improve your setups. You might have to get longer cables to hide them better. Thank you, Rexsheet, for submitting. And if I'm butchering your name, I am sorry. Moving on to the next setup. Next, we have Prayuj. Now, this was basically Prayuj's setup before he discovered setups, he says. He has a sound bar on the right that's connected to his laptop. It looks like he has a subwoofer and some Razer headphones up on the left. So he goes from that to building his very own computer and using a 40 inch TV as a temporary solution. He quickly went from a 40 inch television to a 25 inch ultra wide monitor. Also upgraded his speakers in this picture as you can see. Then it looks like he tried to get rid of the dresser on the left and move his computer onto his desk, which looked a little cram and he felt the same way. So he went and put it on the floor. Then he upgraded his desk, which made everything just look a lot cleaner now he ended up wall mounting his monitor which actually gave it this like really really clean look it's not plugged in in this picture still has the same headphones still has the same keyboard same mouse but he built a whole new brand new pc which again i don't have the specs on but it looks killer i love the purple and white theme that's really really awesome you don't see that a lot he has a very interesting headphone stand y'all look at that it's like a bottle very strange I don't know if I like it or if I don't like it but it's like it's weird because I feel like it fits his setup it's very strange maybe it's just the color of the bottle but uh, might not be the best for the headphones over time might create a soft spot right in the middle because all that pressure is there overall you have a really really clean setup what I would say is to hide that one wire going up to the monitor with like a cable wall cover kit probably upgrade your chair to something like a DX racer or a Vertigear or a GT Omega, one of those, and probably upgrade your keyboard, which is something that you already say you plan on doing. I would also consider painting the wall in this situation because I think that would make this whole setup look super clean. And that's it, thank you for submitting your setup. And that's it for this one, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and I will see you guys in the next one, peace.